tanks coming. Look at that. Three factories mm -hmm. doing nothing but making tanks. Pain user with another CC going down as well. Oh, there's the huge push, and it looks like Pain user is going to be able to clean up everything here. There just weren't enough tanks, and that is a big win for Pain user. That's a little bit surprising considering the force that he had there, but I think Pain user was patient, uh, didn't really push forward when he didn't need to. Mm -hmm. Looking good. Still so many tanks being churned out by Jinro. He needs to siege them up by his very good Zell Naga Watchtower. I mean, the amount of vision range you get from these is enormous, but we see Pain user taking so many expansions along the right side of the map. It's going to be increasingly difficult for Jinro. Seeing a few more Banshees trying to come out. We've got extra Thors being, uh, and, and that looks like that's really the biggest uh, uh, change from Pain User over to his opponent. The Armory just now going down for Jinro. And uh, I think that Pain User is sort of saying, well, you can make a ton of tanks. I'm going to go ahead and spend some of that on the, uh, on the Thors. Not only giving him the ability to wreck through some of those units, but also handle some of those Viking numbers he's got as well. Yeah, and look at Jinro trying to scoot over to the left side of the map, but Pain User beats him to the punch. Has turrets and sensor towers spread out everywhere. A little SCV battle going on at the left here. And at this point in time, Jinro is trying to get maxed. Right now, he is 40 food behind, and the only way he's going to be able to go toe-on-toe -toe with Pain User is if they're both maxed armies and if Jinro has the better composition. So he is going to be turtling almost exclusively. Yeah, there's not really much of this map where you can go where there's not any vision to be had here by either of the players. Some really good coverage on both sides there. You see, ooh, devastated missile turret uh -oh. and moving forward and the here. tanks were not sieged in time, so it looks like Pain User is going to get the chance to advance farther forward. Those Marauders are doing a lot of damage, but these tanks in the back are unable to support Pain Users. Thors are the ones really ripping through this army. Look at those Thors chew the tanks down. And Pain User is advancing forward. These Thor transitions he keeps pulling off again and again are just amazing. And, and there it was, you know, although Jinro did have that increased uh, amount of tanks, Pain User having those uh, Thors out there really made a huge difference. And even though that army may be gone, this army down here at his Zell Naga is still very, very big uh, in comparison to what we've got over here. More tanks coming out. We've got landed Vikings even and a ton of SCVs, so this could be the final push. Jinro trying to bust through here, but he is losing a lot of workers. He does manage to resecure his own third. But look at this, Pain User with a stream of units darting forward, and there's the good game. Wow. Pain User pulling a very impressive win there. I mean, the Thors, after all the infantry had evaporated, the Thors killed tank after tank after tank. That is very very cool to see his late game use of those Thors. Yeah, again, once again, Panniers are just showing that he will switch. He will go through all of the uh, variety of units of the Terran in order to make sure that whatever his opponent has, he is just ready for. Um, and we've seen Jinro play some very impressive games here, so uh, it's exciting. Uh, and I think that Pain User is really, really just finding his, his groove here uh, in the competitive scene. Very, very nice. Looks like both players are chatting and laughing. That isn't, that isn't Pain User just thinking about how cool he is giggling to himself. And the map that has Could been be. chosen is Zell Naga Caverns. I do like this map in general, and I think that this is going to be a lot nicer for Jinro's general style. I mean, if he does continue to do this mass tanking mix, there is that very key gold, and because the two golds are very close to each other, you can inch forward with your tanks. However, we have seen that players who steer a little farther away from the big tank mixes have had a lot more success. I mean, Pain User just pulled those units away from the tanks once and then crushed the, the lone naked tanks. Oh, he's already in here. Oh, yeah, you're trying to invite him to the game twice. Yeah, happens. Nice. And I'm it looks excited. like uh, they need to switch colors. Pain User, red. Jinro will be the blue again. Jinro, this is his first tournament, so he is the lower-seeded player. Pain User has played in MLGs before and will be the red Terran. Wishing him good luck and have fun. I got a question for you. W would you be surprised to see both of the upper bracket semifinals matches if they ended up with a 2-0 result? I would be, and because of this match, I really do think that Jinro is a very exceptional Terran player, but Pain User just keeps pulling out a lot of surprises. 
Pena's got a big advantage pretty early on. Let's see if he can maintain it in this game. Going into game two of the winner's bracket semifinal number two, Liquid Jinro against Pain User. Give a cheer for Jinro if you'd like him to pull it back two to one. And, of course, if you want to see Pain User close, it, close this one out and meet TT1 in the upper bracket final, let's hear it for him. And here is Pain User spawning in the bottom left as the red Terran. In the top right, we have Jinro spawning as the blue Terran. And notice that Jinro is just a millisecond ahead of his opponent in production. But still, not going to be that big of a deal this early on. Oh, but that millisecond near the end of the game. Oh, what a difference <laughs> it will end up being. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you just never know, Day. All right, Pain User, a really impressive first game there versus Jinro. Jinro having one of my favorite games of the entire tournament yesterday versus the Protoss player, Sock. Uh, and really a lot of people excited to see him doing so well here, having not really ever been exposed to him before. Of course, he is a name. People know him. They know the team he comes from. They know what he's currently engaged in, but actually coming to a competition, uh, beating a lot of the players that have in North America especially uh -huh. been very prominent and been in the spotlight. Um, you know, he is an exciting player to watch. No we do see the the um, pain user. Oh yeah, look at pain user doing his supply depot push-ups. Tribute to Kawhi Rice, who is not at this tournament. There's the barracks going down for pain user and the refinery going down. Now pain user did just let Jinro know he made a supply depot, a calculated risk Ooh. right there. Ooh, yes, <laughs> milliseconds count. We both players opening up relatively uh, identically, as we can even see in the production tab at the top left. Jinro a little bit ahead on those SCVs. I guess the push-ups are consuming quite a bit of time of pain user's focus. They could. They could. Uh, but, you know, as you see, just that little example right there, Day, that is the kind of player that pain user is inside. You mm -hmm. know, he is having fun right now. Like, he's probably just like, oh, you know, is this a tournament game? I don't know. I'm going to have a little bit of fun because I like to win. Indeed. We do see that there is a, another Supply Depot going down for Jinro. Nothing out of the ordinary yet. Both players are continuing to mine gas, so likely not going to be any sort of fast expansion builds, although those are very popular on this map. Jinro continuing to actually pull farther and farther ahead. We see that it's not just a millisecond, but several milliseconds ahead now with both Marines and SCVs. There's the factory going down for Jinro, but Pain User does control these two key is El Naga Watchtowers. Yeah, and of course, vision being incredibly helpful on this map. Now, you're not able to necessarily get the uh, routes of a lot of the medevacs dropships, but any big army that's going to push through here, any scout, any silliness that might come through, a banshee, something like that, you're going to get a good eye on it. Looks like Reactor going down now for Jinro. Jinro's going to... Oh, Pain is going to be able to push up and potentially pick off this STV trying to block it, but Jinro does manage to eke himself out of position in time. More Marines. Oh, actually, no Marines being made by Pain User. He might even be going for an extremely fast Banshee or maybe a fast Command Center. Either way, we do see the Command Center going down for Jinro as he is getting this Reactor, and the Tech Lab will be started not at any point. He's giving it... Ooh, to the barracks. Now that's something new. We'll see what happens. Over here on pain, pain user side, also he did not go for that Reaper Scout, uh, which he, we've seen him go for in nearly all the games that I've actually watched of him at this competition. We've got the two Hellions coming out as well. Nothing coming out of the barracks, but that CC about 50% complete here for Jinro. We do have an SCV going around the back from Pain user, checking to see if anything is there. Uh, I don't think he's going to be able to think. Just scouting all the way to his opponent's base, and here come those Hellions. Look like they want to move out. Ooh, this is a very interesting play. Almost never see anything like this, but this is what Jinro does best. Unorthodox builds, executing them very cleanly. And oh, no, the <laughs> SCV marches right on in wow. with absolutely no resistance. Sees 100% of the tech, but I still think that pain user is going to be in for a little bit of a shock when he sees a bunch of Hellions rolling up his front door. Yep, and here come the first two right now. They did take a little bit of damage. Uh, not sure if they... Nope, yep, they just took a little bit of damage there. Must have just pushed forward a tad, but two more are about to join the party, and uh, these dune buggies of death are going to do some significant damage. Thankfully for Pank User, he manages to get that tank out. I do believe it is spotted during that scan, just the lip of it. Yes, it is, and so he knows what's there at the front. has got to be a little bit careful about controlling these Hellions. 
And now we do see that there is the uh, starport from Pain User making a Banshee right now, but a Viking already coming out for Jinro can be very, very tricky going into your opponent's base and seeing a tech lab and a reactor. You can convince yourself that all sorts of things could be coming. I personally would have thought that Jinro would be going for a very fast Banshee, but indeed, no, he's actually just going for a dance party. <laughs> No, he's actually going for Vikings and tanks. So the expansion command center now finished for Jinro. Could begin moving out right now, but still feeling a little apprehensive. Yep, another tank comes out as well. We've got Siege Tech going down for both of these players. And the Hellions will move out just a little bit. Jinro now moving over and taking his expansion. We still haven't seen a command center started yet. Um, so I'm feeling like this Banshee's really going to have to do some damage here. Not sure exactly what his plan will be, but he is moving out right now. But this Viking over here looking at near the path of either where some dropships might go or that Banshee trying to get that additional vision. Uh-oh, looks like a big push moving out right now for Pain User. Jinro's actually gearing up. Uh-oh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. There's the scan. No. He sees that Siege Mode isn't done, and there's the Viking moving forward. Did the Banshee get picked off? No, the Banshee's at the right side of the map, and oh here Jinro marches right into the main. Pain User has absolutely nothing there to defend, and he is going to get so many SCV kills. Hasn't really gotten that many down yet, but all of them are very low life. You do not want to cluster those, Pain User. He, uh, wow, Pain User losing almost nothing thing in that push. Wow. Did lose a good a bit of mining time, but now the tanks are siege and it looks like Pain User will have to pull back, taking some damage right there, using the Banshee to spot, but sieging up right outside the front door. Yeah, and I don't know, it might have given Pain User a nice opportunity to uh get a better position. He's gonna move over to the other side and possibly try to move in and just jump Leapfrog forward with those siege. Oh, he's going to swing all the way around, possibly force these tanks to unsiege. And then he's going to siege up himself really like this in a great position. These Marines are just going to get devastated there. Look at those forces going down. And look oh. at the Banshee in the back doing a ton of damage as well. There's the Banshee already getting one kill, has now killed two SCVs. There's the scan from Pain User, wants to see if he can get into a better situation. There's the Mule now joining up to repair and this is a very awkward spot to be in if you are Jinro. Does he have a Banshee or anything coming? No, just tanks and Marines. Pain user in a tactically superior position even though he has a later expansion command center. Both players on siege oh. and oh no! Could have been the perfect anti-timing right there for Pain user but he will retreat out the back door. I think that he's really lucky he did not lose those units right there. Oh, uh, will he be lucky again? Looks like all these units are swarming forward, and Jinro should really pull those mules back. It is cool that they can repair, but don't want to be spending too much on that. Looks like Pain User has forgotten about his natural expansion. And if we go to the worker counting station, we still see that Jinro is ahead on workers despite that little, uh, that little exchange. So some Marines from Jinro get put in that uh, back door area, make sure nothing else is going to come through there. As the rest of the army of Pain User, like how did they escape without taking hardly any damage? I am not sure, but Jinro also being very cautious about his pushes forward. Uh -huh. There were some units from Pain User rallied to that lower position, and now you can see Jinro starting to move out here, and uh, Pain User is set up and ready for an attack. Needs to be careful. He's about to enter into the range. Uh-oh, and there's the shots going down immediately losing some Ooh. Marines. And there's some uh, Viking exchanges going on. The Marines from Pain User getting very bold. Ooh, perhaps a little too bold as he did end up spewing several Marines there. Yeah, I think that he's like...